Hey guys, this is Mitchell. Um, if you watched this or today's uh, Gamefront update, you may have noticed that uh, I talked a little bit about Skyrim and how I didn't really like Skyrim. And then I said that I might make a blog or uh, video blog about why I don't like Skyrim. So here it is. Um, first, let's start with the good because there there are things that I really do like about Skyrim. I'm really impressed by the scope and uh, ambition of Skyrim. So, let's begin with the main theme. start with an intro with the Skyrim theme on it. I just love that theme so much. Uh, <laughs> I love the uh, I love the, the way that you do the, the the intro, the tutorial, and then as soon as you step out of that cave, you're like blinded by this beautiful landscape and you're like, oh my god, there's no there's no path. I can go I can go anywhere anywhere I want. There's no invisible walls. I can go west and just go west. I don't care about what the Rayloff is doing, he can go do his own thing, go west, I can go east, I can go north. I can just follow Rayloff and then, you know, do some main quests and then do whatever the hell I want. You can do whatever the hell you want in Skyrim and that is incredible. Uh, it's an incredible feeling of freedom that is unmatched in pretty much any other game other than maybe Fallout. Um, but yeah, I love that about the game. I love the look of the game. I think it is one of the prettiest games of this current console generation. Obviously, yeah, there are some some hiccups here and there, mostly in the the way of like visual glitches and stuff like that. But as a whole, considering the scope of the world of Skyrim, it is an amazingly beautiful game. Even on 360, even on PS3, obviously it looks even better on the PC, but it's still no slouch on the PC on the uh, 360 and PS3. All right, so the problem comes when you actually have to play Skyrim for an extended period of time, like. I kind of had to when I did the walkthrough for it, and then every single DLC that came out after that. Um, it's just one of those things where I've played so many other games of that variety, of, you know, the open world, the, you know, take on a bunch of quests, do a bunch of quests. I've played a bunch of games that I feel have done aspects of Skyrim better than Skyrim. Um, combat is one of the things that just drives me crazy, and it might be because of a personal choice. I decided to be a uh, a two-handed uh, weapon guy. Basically, my my guy Olaf is a brainless beast who just runs into a battle and swings his hammer around like this. And every now and then he does this until he runs out of stamina and then he's back to doing this. I feel like there's not really enough room for strategy when it comes into the. Um, the world of Skyrim's com combat, and when and when you can use strategy, that's when the combat gets bogged down because you gotta go through so many menus. Gotta pause the action, go into your spells, da da da, da and then you use a spell. And then you gotta go into your items and use a potion. And then you gotta go into your your hot menu and switch your weapon. And it's just there's too much pausing of the action for me to really enjoy the combat of Skyrim. Um, again, for extended periods of time, there there are at, like if if I was playing it in chunks of maybe like two hours a day for like, you know, however long, you know, I might be fine with it. But to to have to just trudge through a long dungeon of going through that combat and you know, not never really knowing uh, if the, the next enemy who looks just like every other enemy but has a different name, you never really know if he's going to kill you in like two hits and send you all the way back to a previous save and you haven't even been saving that often because before that guy the dungeon has been really easy, so there's uh, uneven difficulty curve in Skyrim just drives me nuts, uh, especially when I don't, you know, I'm playing on a console, I don't have a quick save button, you know, to just press press F12, it'll quick save, and then if I die, it'll go right back to quick save. If I want to save in, in Skyrim on the Xbox, I gotta hit start, wait for a loading screen to be able to move my, my cursor, 
go over to you know the system menu, go down to save, wait for you know another loading thing to come up to get my save slots, press A, wait for the save, press B, load, come back to the, the action. It's just oh god, it's so annoying. It drives me crazy and I feel bad for James and Zach when they're in the office and I'm going through that whole process and I'm just like, I wanna kick a baby. <laughs> Uh, just so you know, I don't, I don't actually kick babies um, or small doggies, even though I may say that, oh god, I really want to kick a puppy right now. It's just next question. Another issue I have with Skyrim is in the quests, um, ma mainly in the rewards of the quests. Um, let's, say, let's take a game like Dark Souls. There's a bunch of side quests in Dark Souls. There's a main quest and they have a bunch of side things that you can go do. You can go kill you know, the dude in the Undead Asylum, you can go um, kill the Moonlight Butterfly, and <clears throat> the, the reason why you would want to do those things is because, A, you know, you're fighting new enemies in each area you go to, um, and there's also excitement of ne never really knowing what's going to be in store for you in that new environment. Um, also, the reward of doing those side quests is beneficial no matter what kind of character you're playing. If I go to the Undead Asylum and I take out the, um, whatever his name is, the, the guy waiting for you at the bottom, the Abyss, the Asylum Demon or something like that, um, I know that regardless of the physical item that he drops, I will get my money's worth in souls. I will get my time's worth in souls, let's just say. Um, with Skyrim, you, you go through a long dungeon get to the end, fight a boss, you're, you know, you've probably died a couple of times, it's been a really, you know, arduous experience. And then you get to the end, and you find a dagger, you know, a really nice dagger, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a two-handed guy who just does this all the time, I have no use for daggers, and then it doesn't even sell for that much money, and even then, money's not really worth that much. So I basically feel like I did this whole thing and got no, nothing good out of it. Um... So that's why I ended up not really wanting to try to explore all the various, and there's so many different places to explore in Skyrim. It's like overwhelming how many different caves there are, how many different, um, you know, bandit hideouts, all that kind of stuff. They all kind of look the same. They all have the kind of same enemies. So the, the incentive to go to them would be for the reward, and the reward is almost never worth it. I've, I've been to so many of these, you know, dungeons, and I've never once been satisfied with the reward I got for my character. And then there's the dragon fights. Oh my god, the dragon fights! You just sit around waiting for... I mean, they should be these epic, epic battles uh, against, you know, really difficult foes that happen randomly. Every time you, you see one, you're like, Oh my god, it's a dragon! Oh, I gotta get ready! Gotta put on my, my good armor, gotta drink all my good potions. But in reality, all you're doing is waiting for the dragon to swoop around. You're maybe shooting some arrows at it, waiting for him to land, run up, hit him a couple times with my, my hammer, and he flies away, and then I'm waiting again. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, he's using his, 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 uh, his flame breath. Just use my healing. And then just waiting for him to land, and it's just, oh, God, it's the most boring thing I can imagine in that game. And you need to do it in order to become more badass to get the shouts. So that's it, it seems like a huge waste of opportunity for me with the, the dragons in that game. Alright, well I feel like I've, I've hit pretty much all of my big issues with Skyrim. Let's see. Uh, unbalanced difficulty curve and random difficulty curve. Uh, loading screens. Oh the bugs! Oh the bugs! The bugs! The bugs! Um, so, story time. I was playing a, I was playing the, the newest DLC, Dragonborn, and I got to a puzzle, you know, one of those turning block puzzles, which I hate, that's another thing that I hate about Skyrim. Every every dungeon supposedly has a unique puzzle, but they're all basically the fucking same thing. They're basically just you find the the picture of the animal that corresponds to a stone, and then you turn the stone and then you when you got all the stones in order you pull the switch and then the door opens. <laughs> um so I got to another one of those puzzles, and I go down, and I try to interact with the, the stones, and they're, they're not turning. So I'm like, huh, maybe, maybe they did something differently with this puzzle. Maybe I need to find a mechanism that turns these, these stones. 
So I spent 30 to 40 minutes looking everywhere throughout the whole level for some kind of thing that could have let me turn the stones other than just, you know, walking up to them and, inter and interacting. Um, and I, I spent, a like I said, I spent a lot of time. And I, I looked online, I saw people that were having the same problems, and people said, oh, your game is glitched. Reload the save, do the whole dungeon over again, and things will be fine. And I did that, and sure enough, I could spin the thing. It, it took me two minutes to, to solve that puzzle. But, oh my god, I wanted to blow my brains all over the wall because of how, how much time I wasted on that simple, stupid puzzle simply because the game was glitched. And I couldn't tell in the game whether the game was glitched or it was just part of the puzzle. So, yeah. Skyrim makes me want to kick babies. But, so there you have it. That's, those, are, those are my reasons for why I hate Skyrim. Um, I, don't, I shouldn't say hate Skyrim. I hate Skyrim at times. Overall, I think it's an alright game. I would definitely recommend it to someone who knows what they're getting into, who likes to be enamored and spend lots of time on one game that they you know, can basically do anything. Uh, I'd probably recommend not doing a two-handed specialist and maybe stick with uh, some of the more interesting builds like magic or you know, one-handed uh, one -handed weapons plus you know, the other hand being used for magic, that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's my that's my spiel on Skyrim. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye bye.